Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I want to show you how to use my displacement materials that come along with the Sci-Fi in a Box K-Pack, and they're very easy to use, very simple to set up, and this video is not going to be long at all, so let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a, a, a cube, a basic cube. I'm going to select all and put it right on the Z-axis here. Um, I'm going to come in and take the face and I'm going to press I for inset and E for extrude back a little bit like that. I'm going to take the top one and inset that and extrude that down a little bit as well. And this face I'm going to inset and then I'm going to extrude outward, inset again, and then bring it back inward. So. That's the cube that I'm going to put the displacement material on. So basically my next move is I'm going to set up a camera, control alt zero, go over to my view, select camera to view, select the cube, set the cube up the way I want it to be. That looks pretty good to me right there. Then I'll lock it down by turning camera to view off. Next, I'm going to add um, an area light. I'm going to place the light above it. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit and move it to the right. I'm going to Alt-D it on the X and bring it over here to make an instance so I can make all the lights the same color and brightness. I'm going to Alt-D on the Y here and bring these out over here. Uh, I'm going to take this one here and steer it into the cube like so. And now I'm going to take this light here and make them all 150. Now this one I'm going to hit Shift D on the X. And I'm going to bring this down. And then I'm going to face this one right on the cube. And this one I'm going to make 250. And I'm going to make it like an orange. Give it like a gold tint. An orange kind of tint. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a spotlight and put it into the cube. <clears throat> Make that light uh, a point. I'm sorry, point light. Uh, I'm going to place it into the cube a little bit. And let's see. Yeah, that looks about just enough so it's in the cube. That looks good. Back to my camera view. I'm going to make that one 250, and I'm going to change it to blue. And that's pretty cool right there. So. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Kit Ops. I'm going to go to my material and I'm going to click on the cube and I'm going to select the material. I have the three displacements here. Um, I'm going to do this blue one. I'm going to do this one here for this demonstration. And then basically I'm just going to hit Add Material to the cube. And then you can go into Dev Mode and take a look at it. And it looks pretty cool. I'll turn on the scene lights and the scene world. Uh, that looks pretty cool too. I have Pro Lighting Skies. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to use Space. That looks pretty cool to me as well. And as you can see, as right now, it's just uh, it's all the materials on there. It's textured, but there's no depth. There's no displacement. There's nothing to that. So that's the next steps we're going to do now. So basically, I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to go over to my render settings and I'm going to go to support it to experimental. And then I'm going to go down to this subdivision tab right here and tab that down. And I'm going to change the viewport from 8 to 1 and the max subdivisions from 12 to 16. And that's going to be the setting for that. And then I'm going to go in here to a modifier and we're going to add a subdivision surface. And I'm going to click simple and then I'm going to select adaptive subdivision and I'm going to set the dicing to 0.5 because I have a better graphics card if you don't have such a powerful machine you would leave it at 1 but I have a stronger machine I'm going to run it at 5 it gives you a better better performance better look so that's basically everything I need to do there now all I have to do at this point is just render so let's go ahead and render that And as you can see, now you will see the displacement, you see the depth, and uh, it looks really cool. All 
Okay, so that took a little bit over two minutes to render, but there you have it, and that's the demonstration. And you can see all the displacement, and I put different lights on it. And I'm using a cube as basically as a, you know, a demonstration, but you could build this on anything and add it to it. So I hope this video helps out, and I hope it shows you how to use the, the displacement materials. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Thanks. Bye-bye.